winter, fall, fall spring, spring, and summer. summer. Those are the four seasons. We are here on El Valquez de Deporte. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pepe! Lorenzo is Oh, I thought we were doing like our actual names. And Espanol, uh, Orlando. Orlando! Basketball! Florida. Basketball uh, uh, and Florida. Orlando! <laughs> La, la bubla? I don't know how to say How do you say bubble Yo in Spanish? Yo practique basketball en Orlando. En hmm? Florida. En la, la bubla. We're gonna go with la bubla. La bubla. <laughs> Please correct us if that's wrong. La bubla. La bubla. La bubla de Orlando. De la bubla de Orlando. You can tell we're all fluent Spanish speakers, right? Yeah. Sí. Yeah. Sí. Easily. Definitely. This is all sports we all the time, the and that was the weirdest intro we've ever had. <laughs> On National Sorry. Spanish Day, we should go with the entire episode speaking oh. Spanish. No. Oh, no. That'd be rough. I'm that not doing that. I don't know rough. if we could do that. Well, Very you well. know what time it is. Los jugadores. It's time for the Sweet Salty Spicy Super Sandwich segment. Oh, we're leading off we're with that? We're going with that. Wow. Sure. Okay. Yep. Let's roll it's with it. Right early. He Let's said go. it with confidence, so we're going to listen to him. What do we have today, Parker? Today we got mini pretzel thin mozzarella sandwich. Clearly, you put a lot of work into this. I put a ton of I work into it. I see that you slaved over this. Yeah. Yeah, I have actually. Yep. It's just mozzarella in between two pretzel thins. Are we about to eat it? Go. Three, two, one. Mm. That's really good. Mm. good. Simple. I yeah, think it good. also would have been good with cream cheese, Better as Luke pointed cheese. out off air. Yeah. But this is also very good. Mm -hmm. This is good. So for the athlete name, I would say that this someone is someone that's good. But someone yes, who simple. didn't quite reach their potential, their possible potential. Mm -hmm. Like they were good, but they never got to where we expected them to get. I got it. Yeah, the record. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's too been early. like yeah, seven weeks, it's and he's been early. injured. JJ Ortega Whiteside. Uh uh. No, uh he's, go, he's, a he's not even good. <laughs> he's not. This is at least decent. No. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay. No. <laughs> I was thinking it didn't reach potential. Yeah. Um, if Marco Fultz could, if he gets better, yeah, I think it Marco could be Fultz, him. Because I think he's going to get better too. But he's still not going to be like anything like, close to yeah. what we wanted. So there you go. This is the, the Markel Fultz sandwich. And he's playing in Orlando. Full circle! Full circle. Two minutes in, full circle. circle. I like circles. No, Parker, stop. do you want to check if we're still recording? <laughs> yep. Why? Because you said the word circle? Because I clapped, and because I'm paranoid after the last couple of weeks, so. And last time we filmed the tournament, or had a tournament, Parker's we gonna be for like yeah. three hours. I'm just going to be Parker's going to be getting up, getting up to make sure, just <laughs> deal with it, because we don't want that stuff to happen again. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> Can we just take a second to pause and... Get an explanation of why you just made a strange cat noise. Please play that clip back. Yes, I'm just gonna loop it. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. Clip <laughs> <laughs> that out, please. Them. No, loop nope. it. Loop it. Nope. We're gonna make sure. Loop it. Time stamp. Time stamp. Time stamp. What? It's not time stamp in the comments. Time stamp. What's the time stamp? It's going in the highlight reel at highlight the end of the reel. year. Highlight reel. Yeah. Highlight <laughs> reel. Highlight reel. <laughs> highlight reel. <laughs> oh, man. There's no reasoning behind that. <laughs> We've got the highlight reel on our mind because we are only two months away. From the end of the basically. year. And we are starting, we're at the very beginnings of working on our end of the year recap best moments type of stuff. And it's, it's going to be It's great. hilarious. It's going to be great. There's so much good stuff. Oh, and have you started so, going through episodes? I went through one, and I found out that when we were doing our basketball preview, I predicted Bam Adebayo's breakout season. 
So <laughs> that's a little tidbit for you guys. Parker, have you gone through any? No, I haven't. That one will definitely be in the prediction category. It wasn't it'll like definitely a be like, moment, but... it'll, It will definitely be like December 29th, and then I'll be, or 30th, and I'll be like... You'll be going through all the episodes. <laughs> nope, nope, we're gonna, nope. We're gonna skim. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, this is the part I stopped at didn't have anything. We're gonna keep going. This is episode 71. Didn't Jason quite... Jason Kelsey? Get to that. We're not gonna... Jason do. Kelsey wears number 71. What Eagles player wears number 71? None of them. Nope. One of them does. I'll okay. give you a hint. He's currently injured. That really narrows it down for no, you. It does. <laughs> um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you also give us a hint of what positions can Lane we Lane Johnson. Ooh. He plays tackle. Okay. Is Lane Johnson? Play? Yes. Lane Johnson it's plays Lane right. Johnson. No. no. Lane Johnson not. plays right tackle. This guy and plays left number, tackle. Lane Johnson wears number 79. So Molly. No, he doesn't, Luke. Oh. I was about to be so proud of you because we talked close. about this while we were watching 73, 73. Game. No. Oh. Somali. Why? Somalita. It's Isaac Samalu. Siamalu? Yeah, yeah. Nope. He wears 73. Also, I knew it. I think he's oh, hurt. Oh! I remember we were talking about this during the Eagles game. Yeah! I don't remember. We who, specifically though. pointed this out. Um, Was it the Palomalu guy? I'm gonna sit here. Troy, Troy Palomalu? Palomalu? Yeah. He didn't play on the Eagles. He played against. He doesn't play on the Eagles. Oh, oh wait, he played, that's right. <laughs> he played in PA, though. You're that's getting right. farther and farther yeah. away. He did, but um, on the current Eagles player who's injured right now. Who wears number 71? Why do I know that name then? Jason Wait. Who does he play for? Well, Parker said Siamalu. Isaac Siamalu. Maybe. Offensive know. lineman. But um, he wears 73, Nathan not 71. Gary. Nope, just kidding. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, um, Nathan Gary's not a tackle. I knew that. Um, the, ro- the rookie, Dillard. Andre, Andre Dillard. Dillard. No, he wears 77. Dang it. Or no, you said 79. He wears 77. Very good guess. That was the closest okay. one yet. Mm-hmm. Who replaced Dillard? It's like on the tip of my tongue, because I remember we were talking about this. I remember, but I just... We replaced Dillard, and we were like, oh no, this guy... This is going to give it away. We were like, this guy always gets hurt. How did that not give it away? This guy always gets hurt. We were... Sean Jackson? No, Dillard got hurt, (laughs) and he got replaced by a guy who was with the team for a very long time, and he was a free agent, and we re-signed him because Dillard got hurt, and we were like, well, he's going to get... Fletcher Cox. No! He wears number 91. Yeah! Half a point for Luke. (laughs) We were... And we were like, well, I mean, we're glad we got this guy because he's been with the team for like 10, 15 years or something, but he's going to get hurt because he always gets hurt. Who's someone that's been with the team for a long time? That I Offensive lineman. Know. He's super old. Lane the freight train. Guys, come on. It's a super old offensive lineman on the Eagles who always gets hurt, who wears number 71. Adam Vinatieri. Who we just re-signed this year. Adam Vinatieri. Because he was a free agent. Fletcher I didn't think Cox. this would be this hard. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you guys as Eagles fans. It's not on here. Um, you guys should be ashamed we should of keep going. We gotta keep going. Until Luke's get dad it. seems to know the players' numbers from what I can gather. He's probably he's probably yelling at you right now watching this. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He's disappointed. Um, I'm disappointed. I know can that. You give me a first this is thing? sad. A first can you give me a first thing? <laughs> can you no, give, he, give us initials. Initials. Give us initials. I, it, that's gonna give it away. He's, well, where are you? Oh, yeah, he it. Okay, he's been on the team you you said as that. long as I can remember. You said you that. Said that, that, that clearly line. Didn't help. You already said that. And he always gets hurt. You don't remember? You already said that. He always gets hurt. You already said. What offensive lineman do we have that always gets hurt? Fletcher Cox. <laughs> that's not an that's a defensive lineman. lineman, and he doesn't always get hurt. Okay. Fletcher Cox has been solid for like the last like. The three first years. letter of his first name is J. 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 Take away that. No. Josh Richardson. No! Josh Allen! Oh, <laughs> what this is, is it? so bad. I don't know. Um, it's it's J. Initials. His initials are JP. JP McCann. Jason Peters! Yes! Oh, Yay! Jason Peters. Finally! Wait, oh, Jason, Jason Peters. Peters. Oh, my word. Oh, I didn't. I He's don't even. He's been with the team forever. I forgot he existed. Took over for Dillard. He gets hurt every single year. He got hurt again this year. I forgot he existed. Number 71, Jason That's why Peters. I don't know who he is, because he's never on the field, because he's I didn't hurt. expect that to be a five-minute ordeal. <laughs> I didn't even remember he existed. Wow. Oh, okay, right, you so, want to check if we're still recording? Uh, we're still good. All right. We've gone for ten minutes. <laughs> five of us just been talking yeah. about 71. <clears throat> okay. Headlines this week. We've got, first off, the most important news the Dodgers have a 2-1 lead on the Tampa Bay Guess Rays. Guess who predicted that? I predicted it. I did. When they were down 3-1, I predicted that they would win the World Series. Well, so did I. 
at the beginning of the year. Or no, I said they would lose the World Series. The yeah, the I also yeah. thought the Dodgers would win. But I, yeah, nobody really expected. Like people expected the Braves to maybe win, but like no, nobody was shocked expected. when the Dodgers won. Do you but think Kershaw's gonna choke for like a third time? Uh, Clayton will that no. become? I think this. Famous. I think this, this is, is the postseason where he. Turns well, people it instead of chucking their jerseys onto the field this year, will they literally bring lighters into the stadium with them, light them on fire, chuck them on the field, and like. Then burn, that sounds like them. it goes against every burn. safety protocol ever created. I don't think COVID can spread when there's ash in the air because if, it, if the fire the think, fire burns the do you COVID, think someone's right? gonna that's how it works. wear a Ker- Kershaw jersey and then light the jersey on fire while they're wearing it? I don't think that'll happen. No. Well, well, people took it to some extreme la- uh, not last year, but the other year when the Dodgers lost because uh-huh. Clayton Kershaw choked it. 2017, when the Astros yeah. cheated and knew what pitches he was throwing. Good point. Yeah. But so. still, he choked it. Uh, the one game he did. The second game he didn't. But yes. But <sighs> the Dodgers are up 2-1. to one. The Dodgers are really good. Um, but they're not as good as my Phillies. We're, what? No, they're they are way better, better, better than, than your Phillies. Phillies. They are so much better. They're a lot better. They've been better. They are better. And, and they, they will, will be better. better. <laughs> okay, but how about this? But they're not as good as my plumbing. J.G. Graybill. Oh! <laughs> you didn't expect it in the middle of the headlines. No, you did. No, you did not. You didn't expect it, but that's... It was actually right after the first headline, so that wasn't really Not right. in but, the middle, but... But they, therefore, you're not going to turn away or skip it now. Because J.G. Graybill is amazing, and they are a small family-owned and operated company that is dedicated to servicing your needs. They will. Yes, do, they are. They will do anything plumbing-related, and I promise you, they will not disappoint. Therefore... Yep. Call them at 717-768-3276. Henceforth, oh, until, henceforth. Wow. What a word. among, as long as, Thou to be continued, shall not. www.jggrable.com. Just type in that last part. Yes. Lastly, the end. And Mention all sports <laughs> all the time when you make your final order. And you will receive $25 off your entire order. So now if listen, you paid $150 for your plumbing services, you're only paying you 125 only... Math. Uh, and but you... then there's also taxes. We don't have to bring up the tax. Okay, that's no not taxes. That's... No if tax. you're paying $150 after taxes, you don't have to pay taxes, actually. No, that don't say I, that. I don't know it's how It's plumbing. That. It's necessity. Is that how that Is works? It, though? I, don't do, really? I don't pay taxes, so I don't know the rules there. Yeah, I pay you taxes. Know, okay. Yeah. okay. You heard it here first from Parker. Parker you don't taxes. have to Can we get someone? Pay taxes can we get a dad who services. probably pays taxes to confirm that? I've never paid taxes. Yeah, you want to call your dad? <laughs> I never will. Oh, well, now he never has paid taxes. Call your so. dad and ask if he pays taxes on plumbing. Okay. Not for real. Let's That'd not worry about this we'll right do, now. We'll not do the later. next. We'll do the okay. next headline while you Hold call on. him. If you mention all sorts all the time, you will receive twenty five dollars off your final no, order, and with that twenty five dollars, nope. you can That'd receive. Whoa! What? <laughs> he chair. just whipped out the chair. <laughs> A chair. Like he was pulling it out of his pocket. <laughs> A set of chairs. Chairs can be Folding really chairs helpful. Specifically, chairs nice can be really chairs. helpful for sitting. I I would agree with that. I do find that chairs tend to be helpful for chairs setting. help you not pull out your hairs. Doesn't make you as think about it. <laughs> Just think about it. <laughs> and that will lead us into more headlines. Antonio Brown, who we all thought was going to be suspended for and life, and makes us pull out our and hair. And we thought, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> but no, he went to the box. Well, uh, we initially, Tampa, when it was reported that he was going to come back, we thought he was, he was going, going to the Seahawks because they were the only team and interested. Literally, and then, boom, boom, like in a day, discussions with the Bucks, going yeah. to the Bucks. That all just happened so quick. I'm like, wow. Remember preseason when Tom wanted to sign Antonio Brown and Bruce Arians said, "quote It's not going to happen." Yeah, yeah. What it happened, happened, Bruce? It happened. What happened, Bruce? It happened. Tom Brady, the mastermind behind the whole NFL. Parker as the captain. Me of as the, the Buccaneers bandwagon. As the captain of the. You already kind of got started. Luke wagon. and I are going to give you thirty seconds to just go. Okay. Go. You already kind of started. Tom but Brady. I had to let you know we the were best gonna... player ever. Now that he's not on the Patriots, because you know don't like the Patriots. Love the Bucks. They just beat the Packers. Demolished them. Their defense insane. Their offense even more insane. Seconds. They've got so many weapons. I mean, you pick a position, and they're loaded. I mean, just loaded. They're going to win the Super Bowl. They're going to win 
every single game throughout the rest of the year, and you just know that they're going to win. I can't wait to play that clip back. Speaking of the highlights for the end of the year, they're going to win all the rest of their games if they lose this week. I hope oh, they no, wait, what, if, what if they actually win out, though? That would be insane. That would be crazy. Be cool. They would go. But, what would they go, 15-1? and one? But we wouldn't be able to... No, they would go 14-2. and two. We wouldn't know until February. So. No, really? no, the regular season. Yeah. Well, we would know what the regular season win. record was. Win, like, even through the yeah, playoffs? through the playoffs. And well, okay, but we could at least well, tell from some uh, Yeah, obviously anyway. we wouldn't know until February, because that's when the Super Bowl is. Probably. I know, I know. Yeah. When's the Super Bowl this year? February 4th? Well, it's supposed to be that, but the way COVID's going, I don't know what the NFL's going to do with yeah. postponing games. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that stuff works, so... I guess we'll find out. It. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Next, the NBA has not officially released this season plan, but it is looking like... Christmas Day. They are get... going to start on Christmas and play 72 games. I, I like that. Yeah. I think it, I think it's good. As I've designated myself to pay more attention to basketball. Yes. <laughs> Luke That's is perfect. going to learn basketball. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's a great way to start the season. I mean... Bam, out of bio. Get you some, some clout well, on the ending. opening day, I it guess you could say. Yeah. Because um, the Christmas Day games are always yeah, the most they're, highly they're viewed always, yeah. games anyway. I That's, love watching basketball on Christmas. I treat that as the opening day for NBA. Because yeah. like, I don't watch basketball until Christmas Day because I'm Ooh. watching football. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. How about this? Basketball on Christmas Day, football on Thanksgiving Day. What do you mean? Cause, but like, then, make it an official no, 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 which holiday? One, or no, no, what, what, do, you what do you, oh, what's what do you better? prefer? What's better? Oh! Yeah, what's better? Okay. Man. I know what it is for me. I know I what it is I think it's football me. on Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah same. same. Okay. <laughs> well, that <laughs> was it. That, that did not turn into <laughs> that, a, an argument no in any way, shape, or form. But that was a good uh, question. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because those are two big holidays They're related with big very sporting great. events. Yeah, especially last Christmas when the Sixers yeah. beat the box and we were like, yeah, Sixers! And then, pfft. So, <laughs> that one didn't end up going <sighs> very well. What is the Thanksgiving Day games this year? Right. It's always the Cowboys. It's always the Lions. And the Lions playing games. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Why is your ESPN I don't waiting know after Just, that? Oh, the only my other... ESPN app on my iPad is broken. That's it's weird. so weird. It's broken. It will only let me get it from the App Store. ESPN equals. I don't know broken. why. It's very strange. Also, you could have just like Googled NFL Thanksgiving schedule, but yeah. whatever. We'll move on while you look that up. We'll move on to our team, the Philadelphia Eagles versus division rival, the New York Giants. That One of the ugliest game. games <laughs> ever played. I think you forgot to add uh, the turf monster to the Eagles. Okay, <laughs> hold on here. <laughs> We've got Texans Lions uh, at twelve thirty p.m. Okay. We got Raven That's Steelers right. at eight twenty p.m. Oh. And football team Cowboys Wait. at thir four thirty. Oh, so so it's Texans Lions and then Washington Cowboys and then Raven Steelers. Yes. Okay. Raven Steelers is gonna be a good one. The other two, eh. I for some reason Washington Cowboys, that might actually be a big game for our division. Yeah. Based because it's Yeah, week we might 12. have we might be rooting for Washington for that game just so that Well, I'd be rooting for Washington whether we needed to or not. Even if it means they overtook us, I'd rather no. Washington. If it win. means they would overtake us for first, I'd rather Cowboys I don't win. want the Cowboys winning. Yeah, but I at don't all like costs. Them. At okay, all costs. Point. At all uh, costs. All right. Would it be the worst thing if we didn't make the playoffs, though? Yeah, we should we should talk about that. So, the Eagles beat the Giants on Thursday night, 22-21. You guys, if you follow us on Instagram, you, you know saw James. Daniel Jones trip. I don't know why I'm pointing no. at Parker. Parker was gone. He wasn't there. He I, went to bed. I was absent. Parker went to sleep. Missed the game. James, though, was there. Yeah. So it worked Did, out. We saw that James, James, James had to get For a little, sleep. I think me and Parker thought James broke into your house and killed you. It was <laughs> a little... Wait, you and Parker thought that? No, he me just... Me and you. He wandered past the elderberry bush. Wandered past the elderberry bush. <laughs> oh, you watched the stories? <laughs> I watched To see it. what he yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It was really weird. He was sitting in my yeah, favorite it was, chair. It was very strange. It in was also very chair. dark. <laughs> he was holding the camera really close, and you would click to, like, change the slide, and it's just like, oh, there's James. It was very confusing. Um... But yeah, that was during. If you don't follow us on Instagram, you're gonna want Where to, so you can get. Alshon Jeffrey. I was surprised he didn't say that because that's quickly become his catchphrase. Definitely. And we didn't see Alshon Jeffrey. We, we once, gotta make that a so. shirt. Just James's face, big. Where, Where the, the heck is Alshon Jeffrey? Jeffrey. <laughs> Merch coming. Who knows when? Um, Do you think we get Alshon Jeffrey to sponsor? I don't think that's quite how that works. Yeah, no, I, I don't think no. he'll sponsor us. But um, yeah, Daniel Jones had. 
the greatest play of the NFL season so far. It represented that game. It represented the NFC East. It, it represented, represented 2020. 2020. It, it was just, just... It had so many... It was the perfect so much There was so many levels. It had yeah. so much meaning. <laughs> the depth of the metaphor that was the Daniel Jones The amount of memes that came that out of that, though. Literally, yeah. even... This is one where it's okay for you to laugh at somebody else's misery. What if he got punctured long? No, he should have. He should have faked an injury. You're like, oh, my, my calf. Oh, I cramped up. I did, oh, oh, man, that was why I tripped. He was flying, though. Like, he was outrunning all the Eagles defensive backs. I think he ran out of his feet a little bit, and that's why he oh, tripped. He definitely over-sprinted. Oh, yeah. he, honestly, there was no one near him. He would have been fine. No. Real quick, back to Luke's point. The question. The Eagle, all, everybody in the NFC East is terrible. The Eagles might win it at, like, 6-9-1. Yeah. Is it better for us to not make the playoffs? For me, that's a complicated question because I think we have the potential to still be pretty good and up there with the best if we're not injured. Everybody is healthy. Yeah. But is everybody going to be healthy by well, the end of the season? That's what I'm saying. Like, we might, like, no, I'm not talking about this season. I'm talking about next yeah. season. And oh, season yeah, yeah, yeah. This season, is it better for us no, to this make season, the playoffs or not? Well, like, should we, we be the rooting to win not? the division? I honestly think it would be better not to, despite the fact that we'd lose our dignity. I feel like, not that we have any dignity right now to lose. Yeah, we don't have much. Um, but I feel like it would not be, because we'd lose in the first round anyway. We'd yeah. go into the playoffs, play an extra week, risk more injuries, lose a, lose a, cl- lose a, yeah. bleh, lose, lose a, a close high, game. Lose a higher pick. Yeah. Basically. And I feel like, honestly, not making the playoffs will yeah. be our best option. Mm-hmm. We, I, as but, a fan, I have learned from last year where, again, the East was pretty bad. The Eagles made it to the playoffs, nine and seven. We were like, "Yeah, that was awesome! What a comeback!" And then they were, they weren't that great. So we lost in the first round to the Seahawks. Carson got hurt. The Cowboys ended up with a higher pick than we did, five spots higher because they got beat by us and got knocked out of the playoffs. And then they get C.D. Lamb. And we get Jalen Rager. Jalen Rager over Justin, Justin Jefferson. Jefferson. We don't have no, to get into that. We don't like Howie. That's a whole Howie. thing. <laughs> Fire Jalen Rager. <laughs> Where the heck is Elson James? His accent changes every five. It seconds. always goes back to James. It's just part of James's <laughs> charm, you know. Yeah, he's a, James is a star. I think he's a snake charmer. I thought he said he talked to a snake charmer. Oh, and then he became, he became one. one. It was yeah. He trained with the best. It was his boss. Yeah, that was the guy he was talking to. Uh-huh. So we're not sure what to make of the NFC East. It's pretty bad. Uh, last headline: OBJ got suspended for two years by LSU, and that is just one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. He handed out cash to a bunch of players after they won the national championship. And if you think that that's the biggest scandal going on in college like football right now, you're crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. The players OBJ are getting is trying to be running a charity over here, and they're like, nah. Yeah. He's trying to help out these guys because they're putting their bodies on the line to make money for a university that's making all sorts of money off of their labor, and they're getting paid nothing. Pay college athletes, or at least let them do like advertisements, like sponsorships. I understand colleges not wanting to pay the athletes because like then you have to pay all of them, but like some of them are more valuable. Let them do sponsorships, like the Olympics. Do that, please. Mm-hmm. We have to keep moving, Parker. Do you want to check if it's recording? I'm paranoid, man. It's happened to us twice. I'm paranoid. Um, this is, I don't know how to transition to this, but you guys know, long-time listeners, I, I don't know how, we're, how recently we've mentioned it, but Luke looks like Joe Burrow. No, I don't. Yeah. If you take off the hat, it helps. Luke and Joe Burrow <laughs> look similar. Exactly the same. They no. look no, we don't. very similar. We do not. Luke and Joe Burrow look similar. End of story. So, Parker uh, yep. found this website. We were trying to Are think... Are you saying, if we look similar, will you agree that I am a NFL-level quarterback? No. no. Your face is... As Your a... face is <laughs> NFL quarterback material. Okay. Yeah. Everybody okay, knows okay, that NFL quarterbacks it. are good-looking people. So, yes. some you're of them. welcome. Some of them. Most of them. I would say the majority Carson of... Carson Wentz isn't very good. No. Okay. But the majority of NFL quarterbacks are good Carson looking. Wentz looks like a prince, though. Prince, prince Harry. Harry. Prince Harry. If he, he started does. balding early. Yeah. Carson Hentz hairline, who? hairline re- Wait, who? Carson Lentz. Carson Wentz's hairline recedes like this. It's like, uh-huh. I, it's so it's, odd. He's it's, got like hair up here, but then it recedes like back here. Back there? No, like, it's yeah, like, I know. It, it's All a right. weird look. So, so anyway. Yes, sorry. We were trying to think, we were like, oh, wow, 
came up with Luke looking like Joe Burrow really quickly. What about me and Parker? Turns out it's harder than you think. Luke and Joe Burrow are just a really quick, easy match. <laughs> easy match. Me and Parker are more difficult. So we resort to the professionals. I think, Parker, you're so kind of looking like Tua. We couldn't maybe. find a... We Tua? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Hawaiian? I wish it was Hawaiian. Maybe Justin That'd be Herbert. That'd sick to be Hawaiian, though. That'd so be sick. It would. It would. So we are going to do Can a celebrity lookalike. I should take my hat off for this. Um, yeah, we should build We, uh... We couldn't find like an athlete look alike. There isn't really a thing. Unfortunately. For that. But it's gonna be a we're gonna do celebrity wow. look alike. Alright, we're gonna do Luke we're gonna first. Do Luke. If it's not gonna Are be Are we smiling or just straight? No. We'll just do no smiling there we go. because that can kinda mess with it a little bit. Because my smile is pretty awesome. Is that uh, the light? What? Oh. It did not you didn't upload the photo, I guess. Oh, way to go, Parker. Oh. That's a great okay. start. Cut. Reset. Oh, Stop yelling go. cut at Check it camera. again. Okay. Okay. Hold my breath every time at this point. <gasps> so first we're gonna do Luke. <sighs> Let's take a picture. Picture taken. Picture acquired. Congrats. Use photo. There we go. Let's put it down here so we can all see it. Alright. There you go. And loading, loading, up. loading. That's right. a pretty good box. Nicholas, Nicholas How Who is know? that? Cameron Do you know any? Mick yeah. Jagger, I know who that is. Oh, Mick Jagger. Actually, I you actually. Moves, like. I think Mick Jagger is the best. It says it's the fourth best match. I think that's actually a really good match. If I your hair was long, that does kind of look I the same. Know. Keep going now. Keep going now. River Phoenix. River Phoenix. <laughs> that's <laughs> a name <laughs> right there. <laughs> Philip. Kirk. Matthew. You do kind of look like Matthew Lillard. His eyes are far apart to than yours, though. <laughs> That's scary. That guy's scary. The what? Thirty-seven. <gasps> Yo, you're a thirty-seven percent match with Tessa Thompson. <laughs> that is that awesome. Makes no sense. <laughs> All right. Anyway, what? so there's Luke, <laughs> Tessa Thompson. Okay, let's do Parker next. And Nicholas How? All right, take a picture of me. Okay. I think Mick Jagger was the one that you looked the most like. Yeah, yeah. With and the that's hair. pretty good. If you're saying you look like uh, Mick Jagger, so you got are the we agreeing looks that? Like Jagger. You got the looks like Jagger. All right, in this one. All right. Hopefully, he gets it gets a good focus on his face. Those of you watching on YouTube, uh, the screen recording of this will be on the YouTube. If you're listening, I I'm knew sorry. it. I Nick told Nick Jonas. Jonas. I told Owen. I told. Wow, him. you did. I told. Remember, I, I told think you, you said that Nick Jonas. You said the Jonas always, Brothers. I kind of. No, I said Nick Jonas. You said Nick Jonas. Came up. Okay. <gasps> Look, that's my that's my player right there. What? Kevin De Bruyne. What do you mean? That's your player? He's an athlete. He is? Yeah. Who is he? Soccer player? He plays player? soccer, yeah. Oh. Alan Ruck. I told Nick Owen. Nick Jonas is I told the top Owen one. that Nick Jonas There's can... another athlete. You got all the athletes. I guess that guy looks scary. <laughs> Dylan Baker. Okay. I thought so. I thought I was going to be Nick Jonas. Nice. All right, Nick so Jones. we got Nick Jonas. Okay. Who is my... Are you Alan, listening to this on Apple Podcasts or Amazon oh, yeah. Music? Iggy, Iggy Azalea. Azalea. You're going to have to check it out on YouTube so you, you can see this. You clearly have done this before. Nicole Kidman. Iggy Azalea is the top match. Wow. Best pair. Nick Jonas and Iggy Azalea. There you go. All right. Now we if got... they had a kid partner, right. it's you. That If Nick Jonas... Is that a compliment to his parents? <laughs> I would say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Because Nick Jonas, you know, that, that yeah. guy's pretty legit. Yep. That's the quote of the week. Nick <laughs> that, Jonas, guy. that guy's legit. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get out of the frame. All right. Got a nice photo Ooh. of Owen. Put it down. Oh, it wasn't see. quite head on. I wonder what that does to it. Oh, did it not upload again? Parker, you're fault? two times, man. Okay. Take photo. There we go. Okay, good. There it is. And it uploaded. Dun, what do we got? None of us have... <laughs> what kind of... Hold on. No, no, no. We got to redo that. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what kind of... Hey, <laughs> <laughs> what, they're all... None of them are up 30%. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Oh, none of us have had more than like a 48% oh match. Oh and then we God. get that where it's oh like a God. quarter of my eye. <laughs> okay. And oh, it matches with that guy at 30%. Oh, I'm going to take it from a different angle. Wow. Different angle. Uh, Luke. 
Okay, that, that's a better angle. Hopefully it focuses on the face. Okay. And not Let's see. The right Where eye. will the box show up? Watch it be like Luke's arm that it focuses on. <laughs> if it does it again, man, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> and that guy. Dave Bautista. Like, oh, hey! Bautista. You look like Drax the Drax. Destroyer. Yes. But like thirteen percent match. These are all. They're not. The like, level of similarity. Is why is it? Yeah, the level of similarity is too low because you put the box on my one eye. Maybe the lighting's odd. Maybe we have to go from like. Yeah, maybe if Luke takes the picture. Yeah, maybe. Okay. That's We're it. doing a photo shoot. It looks like yeah. <laughs> only with that one though. Me and Parker got ours. Right? You didn't do it. Well, I did, but <laughs> I I'm, I'm I glad that I got Nick Jonas. I, I'll take. Yeah, you. Parker's the big winner here so far. And Iggy Azalea, you know, that's good. I'm not too upset with mine. My, oh, that's Mick a, Jagger. That's a, I'll take Mick Jagger a, all day long. If that doesn't focus, man, my face is messed up. <laughs> it's gonna be like top right yeah. corner, just a sliver of hair. Why is it always that side of my face and it's that guy again? Okay, finally we have a match that's actually... We finally... Jimi Hendrix, what? We finally have a match that's over 40% and it's that that's guy. That's good, that's good. Alex, He's 38%. Though. How is he? I don't, Steven Fry. Alex, Steven I can author. see it. I can see it. Thanks, Parker. Steven Why does he keep Fry. doing that to my face, though? Who even is that? Like what? And it's that girl. 50%, wow. I look like Oksana Akishina. Akishina. And, Are they all Asian? <laughs> and that guy. Nice. That's I not bad. That. That's good. That's, That's not good. bad. Parker's the big winner with Nick Jonas. Luke's second place but, with Nick Jagger. And I'm last oh, with whoever like, that dude is. Stephen Fry. <laughs> Stephen <laughs> Fry. Who's Stephen Fry? <laughs> this that, other that one. Guy. I know, but does anybody know like who he no, is? Can someone look it up? I'm I'll, I'll him. wiki him. I'll beat you to it. All right, I already got it. Stephen Fry. He is an English actor, comedian, and writer. Um, he, uh, yeah. Look at these pictures of him. Okay, these are a lot better than the one of <laughs> that. The, yeah, the one of that ad made him look like a serial that was killer. So bad. <laughs> He's a comedian, basically, yeah. is what it seems to be. He's six five, though. I'll well, take that. I don't. I don't think face guy. is really with. Yeah, but I'll take. I'll take height when I can get it. <laughs> Parker's picks versus Pagley's pick. What a transition. You know, we have music for it that we play underneath <laughs> this, right? No. I don't listen to the episodes. Oh, wow. man. Shout out our beats maker, Ethanos. The link is always in the description. Oh, Thanos. Always. E I love Thanos. Ethanos, because his name's Ethan, but it's like... Thanos. Yeah. Thanos. Parker's picks versus Pagley's picks. They are all tied up. In Let's the make or go. break games, Let's go. Parker went three Let's and one go. to Luke's one Take and three. That Luke. And now okay. we're tied at 57 35 and, and one, one apiece. Mm -hmm. They Jeez. both correctly predicted the Eagles winning. So is that 58? Buy a fingernail. Yeah, is that supposed to be 58 now? No, I adjusted uh, it. Okay, okay. sorry. Okay. Buy a fingernail, buy a strand of hair, buy, buy a whatever. Needle you want. in a haystack. Yup. They beat the Giants by a needle in a haystack. <laughs> oh, yeah, they won. Oh, wait. No, no doesn't it doesn't work. work. I, nope. I thought it actually worked. He tried to convince himself, like, yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I literally. The, the optimistic side of his brain was like, maybe we can make this work. <laughs> no, nope, we can't. Nope, it's nope. impossible. Just no. I gotta put no. my hat back. It was, like, it was like the face generator analyzer trying to center my face, and it was just like, nope. Can't do it. It's got to be the upper left corner. <laughs> I guess that's if anybody asks me what my best side is, I'll just say upper left. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I don't know. Parker's picks versus Pagley's picks. Here we go. This is week number seven already, which is kind of scary. The NFL season is going fast. It always does. Yeah. Panthers Saints. I got the Saints in this one. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I agree with that statement that Parker just uttered out of his vocal area. Even though Michael Thomas isn't playing again, and I traded for him in week four thinking he'd be back in like week six. Nope. But it's week seven. It's like but it's later. fine. We're, yep. Bills Jets. Oh, you know what I'm going with. The, the Jets. What? No, the Bills. Oh, okay, no, good. Okay. Bill, 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 Bill. Bills no, are right. gonna beat the Jets. Bill, Bills, Bills. Bills, 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 the Jets. <laughs> the, the football guys. The Battle of Ohio, a classic that we've already witnessed once. 
Browns Bengals. Really good game last time. Cleveland Browns versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Oh yeah, Cincinnati. I just I'm going said that. with the Bengals. Because are the Browns you really? are terrible. Disrespecting yep. the Browns. I'm gonna the go Browns with, are four and two, I'm man. Go with the Browns. They're, they're Thank you, Luke. Browns are I no, you don't deserve. No, it's only because they're playing the Bengals. That's the, the only Bengals reason. are better. Yeah, Bengals. you don't deserve credit for the Browns just because they're playing the Bengals. Bengals. Cowboys, Washington. Speaking of bad teams, this is kind of hard. This is hard. I picked Washington just because of their defense. At the I beginning also, of the season, I never would have thought I this also would picked, be a close game. I also picked Washington just based on the performance <sighs> of the Cowboys last week. I just what they lost by like forty last to a not great team. They lost team. by twenty eight to a decent team. Exactly. And Washington and is Washington like, is It's going to be a close decent. game. They're okay, sure. They have one win. They're kind of decent. Yeah, and okay. that was against us. All right. And we beat the Cowboys. Well, we can beat the Cowboys. We could next week. Next That's week, Sunday yes. night. Packers mm. Texans. Great quarterback matchup. It is a good quarterback matchup. The surrounding okay. cast two This is the matchup of two quarterbacks back. with no help I think around. I remember. Yeah. I remember That's what back. this matchup is. Uh, I have the Packers. I also have the Packers. Yeah. Cool. Just because... Like, I think the Packers, the Packers just have been looking insane this year. And yeah. the Texans haven't been looking insane. The Fox game yet. was a speed bump. And that's analysis. <laughs> the Packers have been looking insane and the Texans haven't. That's that's really a lot of people on TV that you watch, they overthink this stuff. Yeah. We're here giving you just... Straight up. Simple... Straight up. Hardcore. Very easy to follow. <laughs> Not hard. No, the op. Whatever the opposite of hardcore is. Soft, light, light. Soft outer edge. Light. Uh, yeah, soft outer rim. Light glue. Yes. Gluteus. Light. No, light. At, no, soft atmosphere. Mm, that's what we give you. Because the core is at the you center don't of the need earth. To overthink and the this stuff. Is at the it's so part of the random earth. that you can just. Oh, I was thinking core atmosphere. as in. That's core. all we need. Uh, and gluteus oh. as in. Oh, I was thinking core as in the core of the earth. What made you think that your core? It's your core Rear and your are latissimus. Wouldn't your core and your back be opposite? Or is it spinal cord? Wait, is this your, yeah. is this your latissimus dorsi? I took a quiz on this the other day and picked this up, but I don't remember. I like dolphins. No idea. No one Lions versus Falcons. Falcons. Uh, I got the Falcons. I did not know who to pick this game. I, I think I'm going to stick with the Falcons. They looked decent last... They looked decent. They just blow leads. Yeah. They somehow kept the lead last year. That week. is literally how you can sum up these two teams. The Lions and Falcons. They looked decent, but they they just lost... This is the game... I gotta go... Oh, I said Falcons. Between already. two yeah. teams that are cursed. I think, yeah. I think the I Lions Falcons. versus Falcons. It's the cursed game. Cursed. That's what the this cursed is. Cursed matchup. Cursed. Yes. The cursed clash. You know, if this yeah, was like, like if this was percent. like um the 1600s, um we could burn people at the stake. Yeah, they might all be dead. Jeez, that <laughs> took a dark turn, man. <laughs> because people might wow, think they're, they're witches. Jeez, no, they are cursed. They're not the ones that yeah, somebody exactly. else cursed them. Yeah, but what they want to kill the people that are cursed, so they don't. Yeah, they don't oh, spread, the the spread the curse. Great we point. We burn them at the stake. Yeah. So there might not be any lions. <laughs> but wouldn't the other? Were you teams, expecting that? At all? Is, no, I did not think when we started talking about lions versus falcons that we would start talking about burning people at the stake. <laughs> that was not in the I game didn't plan, think of that. I was me. just thinking about the Salem witch trials. Although, wouldn't you? Why? First they of all, burn people second, <laughs> wouldn't the other? If we're saying there are NFL teams in the 1600s, wouldn't the NFL teams want to keep them? I've because if Salem. they're cursed, that means that they lose. I've been to Salem, by the way, where the Salem witch trials occurred. Oh, cool. cool. Was it fun or kind of creepy? Uh, yeah, it was cool. I liked it. Okay. Just because. It was yeah, cool. I think it'd be cool. It was a cool little. little we're gonna go. And then we went to Maine instead. Pretty much the same thing, though, right? No. Maine looked exactly the same. I'm sure. No. I'm sure they they had a witch okay, trial in Maine in, in like the 1800s. Time to move on. Same thing. Time the Steelers Titans. <laughs> I am uh, gonna pick the Steelers. I have the Titans. You picked the Steelers. I did pick the Steelers. I That's think, a it's a I game of undefeated. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be a great matchup. I think it's gonna be a really. It's good a game. tough yeah. one to pick. It's a tough. It was a tough game to pick. I don't know. I just picked I don't the know. Yeah, I was, I just Steelers. Just there you go. Yeah. Just just that soft atmosphere, you know. Buccaneers versus Raiders. This, was an impossible this is the matchup game to of pick. your bandwagons. Yep. I think we got to stick with our bandwagons, I, I, I buddy. I picked my bandwagon. Hey. The Bucks. I'm going with the Raiders because bandwagon. Because bandwagon. bandwagon. Chiefs Broncos. Chiefs. Chargers Jaguars. <laughs> Chargers. 49ers Patriots. 49ers. Patriots. Oh. 
Let's go. Let's go. Pitch Battle of two teams that are missing key pieces. Yo, I can Not just, as good as they I can tell Tom score. Brady, the mastermind behind the whole organization, is going to want them to win this week. So, therefore, Patriots win. That made no sense. And but... time to move on to the next one. Okay, Sunday night football. I'm excited for this one. Seahawks, Cardinals. Seahawks. And Monday night, not quite as exciting. Bears, Rams. Bears. Wait, no. Do I... I don't remember who I picked. I the think Bears, I picked the Rams. The Bears do have a better record, I, I think. Know, I, I think I did pick the Rams, but I debate changing the Bears. The Bears are the worst 5 and one team I've seen in a long time. I know. Time. Like, but you said, that, nobody. you said that about the Packers. They've played nobody good. No, I didn't say I said they were not a great 13-3 team. I don't know. The Eagles, we almost came back against the Rams, and I feel like the Bears are a lot better than the Eagles. Yeah, but yeah. the Rams have looked. I'm going with good. the Rams. I'm going with the Rams. The Bears are just. I don't so trust anybody. The Rams. I don't trust anybody enough on the Bears to do good. You don't trust Nick Foles. You heard it here first. Luke do, is the only Philly Nick fan Foles is that doesn't like. Nick I don't know. I never said that. I, I don't like always Nick trust Foles. Nick Foles. He's right, inconsistent. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. If, if so. You're telling me I'm on the podcast with two people that don't like Nick Foles. We never said that. I like Nick Foles. I want Nick Foles to succeed. Oh, my word. I just don't trust him 100%. Watch this back and see if any time we ever said that we don't like Nick Foles. I never said that. Yo! I don't trust Carson Wentz all the time. I'm going to cut off the clip and and edit the part out where it says that we don't. Or I'm and then he's see. he's gonna he's gonna no, no. mess with the footage. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna just like James take out gonna clips, alter it. and it's gonna say. Are you gonna Are you gonna? We don't like Nick. Gonna, I don't trust Carson Wentz. I don't either. You don't. Like I still Carson like Carson Wentz. Wentz. No, I like, I like Carson Wentz. I, don't I trust literally him. have a Carson Wentz jersey. Same. Same. Say it. You don't like Carson. Wentz. I like Carson I Wentz. Like I don't Carson trust him. Wentz. I don't trust him. You don't say. Just say this. You don't trust. Why would I? Yeah, I don't. You don't trust Carson Wentz. That's what you told me to say. You don't trust him. That's what you no, said. No, I don't wow. trust him. You said you don't trust but Carson Wentz. You don't you trust, trust him either. Do you, yeah, no, him? do you trust Carson Wentz, Parker? Yes. Wholeheartedly. 100%. You're telling me. When he's rolling out to the left against the Giants and lobs one up into the end zone into Ma- double coverage. Do you trust, trust Patrick him. Mahomes? No. So you're telling oh, my me, word. No, you're there's no way. If you had, no. You're uh-uh. telling me if you had a stacked ultimate team, like you took the best receivers, best offensive linemen, best people from every single NFL team. The Buccaneers. And, yeah. The Buccaneers yeah. offense. Yeah. So you had the Buccaneers offense, uh-huh. and you had Patrick Mahomes and Carson Wentz. You would start Carson Wentz over Patrick Mahomes. No. Well, you okay. just said that you don't so like I trust. So I trust Carson more. There's a difference. No, there's, no, there's not. not. What's the difference? There's a difference between like and trust, but yeah. there's no difference between trust and don't trust. No, trust well, actually, trust and skill is different. It's different. Exactly. Can, you don't trust, trust someone who doesn't have any skill. I trust Carson more, but but so Patrick saying, Mahomes is more skilled and is a better player. But I, I don't trust him as much. What Just, do you mean you don't trust so him? So you're saying if you, if you totally isolated the entire um, Buccaneers offense... From Carson Wentz, and you totally isolated them from Tom. Um, not Tom Brady. Um, Patrick Mahomes. The, yeah, they, like, they never even uh, talk about can't. anything. They don't go over any plays. They don't do anything, and you put them out on the field. Yeah, they I, don't even practice together. Patrick you just Mahomes throw them out on the field. Be and yes. who would you say would? Yeah. Who would be yeah. better? But you I can't Carson tell me a guy that's leading no, the that's league in interceptions trust. is more trustworthy. No, I trust him more. You trust that yeah. he's always going to make the right decision. No. That's that what trust. trust. Then what do you trust? I trust that he's not going to make the right decision. That he's going to win football games. You think he's going to win more football games than Patrick Mahomes? No, but I think. Then what do you trust? I You're think, not helping yourself. I think that he'll win more football games than the other teams in his division. That's what I trust. We're about. saying isolated. Yeah, we're not, okay, okay, okay. We're okay. not talking on, about Dak Prescott I think who's I, injured or I think Andy I Dalton. Can, I think I can or, clearly define trust here. Carson Wentz drops back to throw. Patrick Mahomes drops back to throw. Who do you, when they throw that ball, are you more confident that the result is going to be good when it's Mahomes Are you more confident wins? that Tyree Kill is going to catch what the ball? What is your confidence or Travis level? Well, well that's a whole different ball. thing. When the quarterback throws the ball, before you see, it's like with basketball players. Your confidence level is, when they're shooting the ball, how confident you are it's going to go in. When they release that ball, mm-hmm. how confident are you, Patrick Mahomes versus Carson Wentz, that it's going to be the right decision, good throw, completion? Uh, if it's the same wide receivers, same everybody else, yeah. I trust Carson more as an Eagles fan. If I wasn't an Eagles fan, I would trust Patrick Mahomes more. But I'm an Eagles fan. I'm an Eagles fan. I'm I trust Eagles Patrick Mahomes more. And he's thrown 10 them. interceptions this year. Therefore, henceforth, I'm right. You're wrong. 
No. Game over. Okay. For one, there's no right and wrong to this. It's more of an opinionated question. It is. But <laughs> it's completely still. an opinionated question. Okay. That was strange. Were we still recording? You yeah. just had to focus it. Uh, no, it was less than 20%. Oh, I told you. <laughs> okay. So the make or break games this week. Browns, Bengals. Parker's got the Bengals. Luke Luke's the got the Browns. Why did I refer to uh, myself? Lions, Falcons. Person. Did you guys pick the same? Falcons. Yeah, we picked okay. the same. Uh, Steelers, Steelers Titans, Titans, Bucks, Raiders, and that's it. Yes, that's it. Because you both had the Rams. Yep. Yeah. All right, so three games. Three games. No, that's pretty good. Pa- I thought Patriots. Oh, Patriots, oh, yeah, Niners. Patriots. Yeah. Four games, uh, second week in a row. Let's yeah, go. These games. weeks are good it's always when we more have a lot exciting. of different ones. It's always more exciting. Whether it means that one of us like loses a bunch and like we get fall behind, it's still more fun this way. Oh, I'm so much more exciting. Okay. I'm going to win all four. We're going to cut that clip up when... And save it for you. You heard it here first. Four now this week. So, Parker, you're saying that the Bengals are going to beat the Browns. Yes. The Steelers are going to beat the Titans. No. No. Or the Titans are going to beat the Steelers. Yeah. So, no. Yep. The Steelers are going to beat the Titans. No. The Bucks are going to beat the Raiders. The Titans are going to beat the What Steelers. did you pick? The Titans. Okay. I picked the Steelers. All right. Parker is, I'm going to cut this clip, copy it, save it for next week. Parker is saying he's going to go 4-0. In week no. 7. In week 7 of the 2020 NFL season, the Bengals are going to beat the Browns. The Titans are going to beat the Steelers. The Buccaneers are going to beat the Raiders. And the Patriots are going to beat the 49ers. 100%. Correct. What you just said will happen. Okay. I'm a I'm a fortune mind reader. They call me a feeder. A fortune mind reader. A feeder. I, I that was good. <laughs> I don't that say things good. that aren't going to happen. I'll give you that. <laughs> they call me a feeder. Let's wrap this episode up with two nicknames and a lie. Dun, dun, Our dun, last. Dun, 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 dun. Again, we have music that's playing underneath this. <laughs> but Once is it as again. good as my music? Uh, no, it's not. It's better. Oh. <laughs> I know what it is, Owen. <laughs> you asked the question. Oh, man. Um, I was playing Madden with Brogan earlier today, and his little brother was roasting me over the mic. Like, oh, absolutely geez. roasting me. I'm like... Do you have an example? Oh, no, I can't remember Duh. exactly. But I just Must remember... Must not have been that good. No, I just remember hearing, like... There was one um, play where I threw it to someone. I still got the completion, but um, there was someone a lot more wide open. And he was like... That person was w- as wide open as... And then he said something that's like... As Carson w- Wentz's hairline. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it was, it was... It was... It was bad. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't looking at it. I wouldn't cheat like that. Okay. I'll like go Parker. first. Yeah. Two nicknames and a lie. We, bah! What we do... That... Go? Yeah. Why did you... We're back to Spanish. I don't know. The way it works, it's like two truths and a lie. Parker's going to read three nicknames. Two of them are real official listed nicknames of the player... One is a lie, obviously, because that's the name. It is our last standing segment from quarantine. Mm-hmm. Now with sports back, we've trimmed it. So, so we got Markel Fultz here for you guys. We're just really wait. We're going hardcore on the Markel Fultz this episode. Yeah, yeah it the comes sandwich full circle. Oh, and the least. nickname. Wow. Okay, we did not try that. So here's the nicknames. You got Quick Wash. Okay. Quick Dry. Okay. Oh, come on, that's not fair. And Kelly. Quick washing, quick dry. Okay, well, Kelly that's a is 50, definitely. 50. Kelly is definitely one of them. Yep, that's a 50 50. It's quick dry. It's quick wash. You're both wrong! What? <laughs> Just kidding. No. <laughs> come on, man! <laughs> no, um. Can't be playing with our emotions um, like that. Quick dry is wrong. Okay. So. I oh, figured okay. I had to go opposite of Owen, so we didn't let Parker yeah. get it. Yeah. yeah. On something. I no, that would have been great that. though if I I if I would have. Li- those were both listed. I wish they were, because then you I, totally would have thrown us off. Yeah. Oh if yeah. Just, if you just came uh-huh. up with Kelly, I would never have said it. Yeah, yeah I know. Kelly. Kelly. Is it? Kelly. Uh, just, yeah. Why is Mar like Markel <laughs> Kelly? Kelly. Yeah. Like if they called him like okay. Kel for sure. I'll go next. I went with your guys' suggestion. And did Larry Bird? Because basketball players actually have nicknames. So yeah, like any other like football player. player. I found a football player, but it took a while. Okay, so we got Kodak. Wings, and the hick from the French lick. <laughs> There's no way you came up with that. I didn't even say that with a straight face. There's no way you came up with that. All right, so what were the first two? Kodak and Wings. 
wings. Wings. Is fake. It's definitely yeah, wings. It is. Yeah. <laughs> that was too easy. Okay, the I knew the that was Wings. I knew that one. That's was, such a good nickname. I knew nickname, you guys though. weren't gonna. I knew you guys knew that was real. That's a that fantastic that's so nickname. Odd, but I had to put it in there. Oh, that's I just had so good. <laughs> I could. I could wow. think of anything. Wow. And then okay. Kodak. There's no way you would have just thought yeah. the word Kodak. So wings. Maybe. No. No, no way. <laughs> Mine is Miles Garrett, okay, aka the Helmet Puncher. Just kidding. That's not one of his listed nicknames. That should just, be though. It, yeah, the yeah. Okay, his nicknames are Scary Monster, okay. <laughs> Superman, Bigfoot, Superman, Scary Monster, Superman, Bigfoot. Uh, there's no way Scary Monster is his nickname. I'm going. I'm gonna say Scary Bigfoot. Monster. Scary Monster was yeah, the fake one. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I tried to make it too random, because normally when I come up with one, I like put their name in it, and I was like, okay, neither of these two have his name in it, so I have to do something that doesn't have his name in it. Yeah. I was, yeah. How did you come up Superman? with Scary Monster? <laughs> I, I, it had to be random, so I was like, I don't know. Scary Monster. He's, yeah, I, he's scary if he'd be running at me, so. Also, I don't- Or hitting I thought you in the head with a helmet. Cam's nickname is Superman. Cam Newton. How did Miles Garrett get yeah, Superman? Yeah, I don't know. Nobody calls him Superman. Don't know what's <laughs> up with that. That's weird. You know what's not weird? JG Graybill. We're like gonna Plumbing. plug these mics in so that we like totally kill people's ears. Uh, no. <laughs> the amount of times these things get knocked around, it's probably a good thing we have our mic up there instead of here because it would- you guys would just be constantly hearing like because we're not good at handling the mics. You know well, who's good at handling their tools? JG Grayville Plumbing. We just did double intro into yep. JG Grayville. Yeah. Perfect. The more the merrier. You know who's always the merrier? JG Grayville Plumbing. <laughs> They're the they main. Contact. Third them. time's a charm. Do you want to know who's very charming? JG Grayville Plumbing. <laughs> they say the bees eat the wax. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I didn't work. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? What happened? What happened in your brain where you were like, I can connect these things? <laughs> to say the days ain't the wax. <laughs> that makes no sense. What? Know. You know what does make sense? JG Gray Plumbing! Okay, you can contact them at 717 768 3276. I don't know why I put a one in there. Yeah. Because they're number one. Oh, oh, yes. What a save. 717. I thought we were going to. 376. Okay. I, it's, Wait, is that right? Even no, though it's not we, right. We missed I don't, I don't know. Eight. Eight. Yeah. We, you, it, what never mind. 717. 717. 717. 3, 2, 7, 6. 3, 2, 7, 6. 3, 2, 7, 6. 3, 2, 7, 6. 3, 2, 7, 6. 3, 2, 7, 6. 3, 2, 7, 6. 3, 2, 7, 6. Boom! There we go! And they're number one. We're smart. You know who else is smart? JG Grable Plumbing. Or you can go to their. JG Grable Plumbing? JG Grable Beeswax. Yes! Bears. Beats. Battlestar Galactica. I know that now because I've watched some of The Office. Nice. Finally. Do you know Asian Jim? Uh, you because you guys showed me the clip. I'm not uh, that far, man. I'm on sorry. season three. Sorry. Although I've heard that season three is the best season. You know who else is the best? JG Grable Plumbing. Yeah. And you know what season they're best in? Every season. Winter, fall, fall spring, spring, and summer. summer. Those are the four seasons so. of the year. Character, conflict, theme, theme. setting. We might get copyright for singing this song. Be needing when, when you're, you're reading or writing a short story is about J.G. Grable. <laughs> <laughs> In fourth grade, saying. we learned that song to learn the parts of a yeah, story. Yep, and I vividly same. remember Parker dancing on a desk. Yeah. In a pink tutu. <laughs> In a pink tutu. <laughs> it was pink Because day. it was pink day, and he stole his younger sister's tutu yep. to wear. It was fantastic. I feel like Parker... You know what else is fantastic? J.G. Grandma Plumbing! Sorry. I feel like Parker often wore tutus in... No, he didn't. School. No, he I wore didn't. ties. I wore ties. No, yeah, I remember that, definitely. He wore ties. But I feel and like neon. whenever there was an opportunity... It was a great combination. Ties and neon. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wore those a lot. It was very And your vivid. sweaters, you often wore sweaters. You nobody ever forget. You did wear sweaters nobody, nobody forgets me. I forgot about the sweaters. Like the sweaters, like with the collared shirt under the sweater yeah. kind of thing. I can't color. believe I forgot about that. You know who? what name you'll never forget? Parker Wolf. Wolf. Well, oh. Good answer. Both of, both of the names. You can also go to their website, www.jggrayville, to find out about all of the different 
services that they offer, a wide yeah, variety of any plumbing service you can think of, they do it. So go contact them. And when you do contact them, <laughs> Parker just dropped his phone. When you do contact them, mention JG all sports plumbing. all the time, and you will receive $25 off your order. Do you want to know, Owen, what you can do with that $25? What can you do with that $25? Get a new dollars, you can buy yourself a screen protector, baby, so that when you drop your phone, it <laughs> As doesn't he throws break. it on the table. Oh, nice catch. Yep. So, yeah, contact JG Grable Plumbing. Do that. So that you can save the money so you can get your plumbing services. Protector. Would you rather have plumbing services and a screen protector or, or just, just plumbing, plumbing services? services? We've just mentioned me, a lot I'd of things that both. you can spend that $25 on. I'd so you better just. Both. Parker, why, man? What? Why? <laughs> why do you keep dropping who, your phone? Who, what, where, when, why, how? Those are the five things that help you when you're analyzing a text. Yeah, T text dependent analysis. Oh, those yes. were the worst. I hated I hate text those. dependent analysis. Henceforth, Analyse therefore, analysis podcast is... is over. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram and YouTube. Bye. Bye Subscribe friends. on YouTube. You can't follow. But, yep, do that. <laughs> He's Why are you zooming? He did this last time, man. <laughs> follow the Instagram. Uh, follow at L of Eats. Follow, you can't, go to JG Grable's website, um, subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, try out that face website, um, I'm running out of stuff to say, I'm probably just gonna cut this. Bye. Yeah.